Oh, how y'all doing, fellas? Good, hey, coach. Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. Hey, man, y'all been doing a heck of a job this season, man. I appreciate y'all uh, due diligence. Just to honestly, the truth in this, you know, I don't mad when you get in that butt. If we deserve it, we deserve it. You know, mm -hmm. it is. All the fade is fade. If I'm messing up, I'm messing up. I get it right. So I, I respect that, man. And uh, big dog, God bless you, man. Y'all doing a great job, man. And, you know, Neely, you've been consistent. RJ is bringing that heat. Oh, man, golly, you are you doing the thing. You got everybody but uh, the gunner. You want to interview everybody but gunner, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm trying to get him in, eh? <laughs> because I got to get back to uh, – we premiered a documentary tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then it's all, you know, after that. So yeah. – so I'm just kind of, I just want y'all to be able to shoot your questions and let's talk and let's have a good time so y'all get content that nobody else gets because I ain't talking to nobody but national media that I had a media day yesterday. Yeah. And I love yeah. what you do the parents, big dog. I, I, I do. I love what you do with the parents, man. Thank you, coach. I appreciate it. It's hard for them complain, complain when you got them on, you, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on the backtrack on that. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Look, uh, Coach, I want to get it on and popping. Uh, as we heading toward, you know, we in the transfer portal season for real. We head toward early signing day. Oh, man, you I know it's forty. That. You can't just run past that and just glance okay. over. We in the transfer portal for real like that ain't like. See, that turns me on. That gets me excited when you talk about the portal. Like, ooh. ooh, ooh. Well, hey, look, that's the thing, though, because, uh, you know, we were talking about it on the on the national level. You you know, no stranger to flipping the roster over. Um, right. How excited are you to go in the transport portal and see what's out there and see who wants to be a Colorado Buffalo? Well, I'm immensely um, excited because this is like free agency for college mm -hmm. football. It's I, I compare the portal to free agency. I compare the high school kids to the draft. That's that's kind of how we do it. And we have a certain formula that we go by and uh, we're right on schedule for everything that we thought that would happen. Like Neely could tell you, um, even before the season started, we knew our needs. We knew what we were going to do. I presented Rick with a whole game plan of, of 2024 before the, season, before the season even started. So it's not like we're dumbfounded and we're lost and we're going into the portal blind and naked. If you watched us play, you wouldn't know exactly what we need. We need what you think we need, but we need a little more in certain places just for the depth and the stability of things. So we're tremendously excited about the portal because it's self-explanatory what the need and the desire is. Do you feel like all of those pieces are in the portal? Oh, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they, 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 they. They are in there. Not only that, they're in the portal, they're in high school, and they're on the team, and oftentimes they just need development. We had some guys uh, like Milner Jones that that took great strides, in, and you saw him starting at the conclusion of the season because he was developed properly. And you see younger guys that's going to get an opportunity at the receiver position, um, at certain positions that work their butts off and slowly but surely they start to develop and they're going to receive their opportunities. Coach, is it some things that you'll be wanting us to say? Like, I know you can get on and say whatever you want to say, but is it sometimes you'll be saying, man, I want to just tell him, get on this, get on live and just talk about this for me in that direction. I would love that, but it ain't right. You know, I got to let y'all do your jobs. And you guys, first of all, you do your jobs well. I wouldn't be talking to you if I didn't have a, a level of respect for you. But as a coach and as a head coach, you know, some things we can't say. And I think I'm probably the most transparent out there. I say pretty much everything I feel, but I can't. Yeah. Like, I can't. It's certain things that I want to say. Now, you know, darn. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cause, cause I be, I said, I said, man, I, I, if if you ever want to say something, just man, just say, all right, take it and do it in your style, but get this out for me. I can't do it because Nilly, if that was the case, Nilly, shoot, Nilly would have did it because uh, he's right. Uh, yeah, here. yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, all right, all right. The level of professionalism that I, I must maintain, and I'm going to maintain it. But if some things are so self-explanatory that. 
I like, dang, y'all got to think of this. I can't just feed you, you know, not y'all, yeah. but the, the yeah. everyday media that covers us. Like you, you didn't see this. No. Uh, yes. Some things you want to say, but you can't, you can't, do, you can't do it. Right. Because if you tell the truth, um, they say I'm throwing kids up under the bus. No, I'm saying what you're saying. I'm saying what you're thinking. You're right. thinking what I'm saying, <laughs> but I can't say it. I'm not throwing no kid on the bus. I would never do that. But if you ask me, what do we need? And I say what we need, then you mad that I told the truth about what we need. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Coach, a uh, lot of coming and going in this off season. And it seems like you are the only person who is comfortable with this. It means things to make everybody else uncomfortable. I don't so, know what? What? well, that's why I, I'm going to ask you, um, uh, why do you think it makes people uncomfortable to so see coaches and players coming in and out of the university at this rate? Um, see, that was one of those moments that I wanted to say something, but I had to kick myself. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you got to provoke me. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to provoke me. <laughs> oh, no, no, not trying to provoke you. They, they're uncomfortable because they don't have control and they can't see what we see. It's nothing that we've lost uh, or left that will have tremendous impact on us negatively. Right. So right. that in mind, and it's nothing that left that deep, we didn't have expectation that it was going to leave. So moves was already in place well before any of this transpired. You got to understand, by the time the media get it, We've already had it and got it and flipped it and ripped it and, and understood what it was going to be and, and made uh, reservations for it. So it's no surprise. And uh, it's it's nothing that we we didn't have expectation. Now, I don't expect a, a 2025 kid to decommit or something like that because that's so far down the road. It's like you just want attention because that's yeah. Fall down the road, you don't know how this is getting ready to play. I know how it's yeah. going, and and I'm going to say, all right, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I know how it's going to play. Out. So that's maybe the only thing. The other things that have transpired and people had left, we we knew that that was the game plan. That was the plan. Yeah, yeah, we knew that. Hey guys, what? Well, let me let me chime in on this as, as an inside media guy working close with Prime. You know, as Coach opened up and said, he ain't above and beyond criticism or someone saying what he could have, would have, should have done. But I think one place that we fail is more so the friendly media, you know, just using that term, if people that, that admire him and try to cover him, you know, numbers are numbers, man. And when you have players that leave here, one thing the coach would get accused of is throwing a guy under a bus, but that doesn't mean that the media can't report on that person's numbers. We, we had a tight end to leave and in three years, all he accumulated was 23 yards. But people will talk about you had a guy leave, but they won't talk about the production associated with it. And that's not throwing somebody under the bus. That's attaching their record. We are what we are. We are our stats. Right. We are our team. And I think that, right. that we don't need to be in a position where we shy away from that, like because that is what it is. Yeah. It, it, it's almost like there's going to be uh, attrition. There's going to be displeasure with, with anything in life. So you're going to have mm -hmm. something that you may not have expected to jump in the portal. Do you see all the quarterbacks in the portal, right? Do you think plenty of them? Do you think their coaches thought that was gonna happen? Like this is a quarterback. That this this is not a, a backup backup who backs up the backup. This is a quarterback that's your yeah. starter at a major power five, and you dipped. Now that yeah. is something to say, ah oh, Lord, okay. Now I gotta regroup. I, I'm gonna do this. That's that's not transpiring at this point. Um, and you got to understand, we we have depth charts, we have uh, the big picture on a board, and we know where we're going. Like if a running back were to leave, we don't want you to leave uh, because we feel like we got a great room. But if you do, we 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 got to take care of business. If if uh, quarterback, okay, if we do, as long as it ain't your door, <laughs> as long as it ain't your door. <laughs> We, we got to make sure take care of business as well as the cornerback position, the the linebacker. I mean, if all those positions kicking. You you got to make a move to make sure you support that uh, that departure. But that's going to happen, man. These are kids. 
you know, these are kids. I think people get caught up in the 2025 kids uh, decommitting too much when <clears throat> you have a whole another year to go through and, you know, who knows what's going to happen at that time. So I think all that stuff is just blown out of proportion in the it first is, place. It is. And, and, and uh, big dog, I don't, I don't like really those kids to commit that early because it's not genuine. It's not real. It's, it's, like, it's, a, it's like an excitement. You, you went there and oh shoot, I can't wait to get on that ride at six flags again. I can't wait to go back there and they open up a new ride over here in new park. <laughs> and here you go on a seesaw. Like, dang, this seesaw nice. <laughs> like, yeah. like, like, that's, that's just what it is. I mean, you like it, but the, the, the thought process of you sticking with that, it, it, it's far fetched. It's, it's, it's really far fetched, man. So that don't hurt. That don't bother you. It's newsworthy because it's us, but it happens all the time. Right. Yeah. I could, I could go ask a question. That's probably everybody's looking to find out something about the offensive coordinator and the offensive line. What, what, what direction are you looking to go through there? Well, offensive coordinator, we're gonna we're gonna be all right. I promise you that, and uh, we're we're good. We're good there. Offensive line position has already been filled. Uh, I, I I give you guys names. That's already been filled, and we are straight. Trust me, a uh, guy with plenty of experience, uh, plenty of wherewithal, able to communicate to through through all the kids from top to bottom. Uh, track record is 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 wonderful. Where he derived from is uh, a tremendous power five, and. I love everything about it. When he interviewed with me, he knocked it out of the park and uh, he's ready and prepared. As a matter of fact, he's already in house. <laughs> okay. Okay. You said you okay. said you said you're straight at the offensive coordinator. Okay. So does that mean you're gonna retain Coach Pat Shermer or you already that's got likely. That's likely um that that would happen, but you, you gotta hold on. You just you just you just gotta hold on. You just you just don't know. You got to hold on. But let me tell you something about Coach uh, Sherman. Pat is, is phenomenal. I don't know if you noticed or you took notice of the conclusion of the season. We played tougher games. Um, we, uh, people got to Shador less. Um, we, and we ran in, it more. Yeah, yeah. It was a little more balance um, playing tougher teams. Early mm -hmm. on, um, I don't know if the teams were as tough as yeah. it was backside of the schedule yeah. so i applaud uh pat for coming in and, and implementing things and that wasn't even his scheme so you got to right. applaud for commanding respect commanding the offensive attention and uh doing what he did don't criticize a person because of what you heard about yesterday because yesterday is not today okay so don't criticize coach Shermer. Um, because of what you think that transpired at the NFL level um, years and years ago, because I think all of us on this call right here and all the people that are watching has garnished a second chance in some capacity. <laughs> and, uh, we, we've done well with it. That's why we're here right now. Yeah. Coach Sherman is a wonderful man who's, who's respected by the, the entire staff as well as the team. And if uh, that's the direction that I'm going, I'm real comfortable with it. Any other uh... coach? I, I had one for you personally because uh, you you had talked about this. I think just a little bit and how challenging this season has been for you. And your life has been one of excellence at the highest level, right? We all know this. Um, but one of the things that I'm most curious about, especially as a storyteller being in this job, is what this has done for you, if anything. Uh, to change your perspective or, or to give you more perspective or what does it mean for you going into 2024? You personally, not necessarily the program. It, uh, I've garnished a little more patience, a little more understanding and wisdom in certain situations. I made a, a few mistakes that, that, that are public that, okay, I got to get this right, or I got to spend more time here, or I got to make sure we're managing that and we're managing this. And, so criticizing myself is first and foremost, critiquing myself and make sure I'm on my game. Um, secondly, I'm always challenging myself to be a better leader, man, um, and, uh, and a, a, a better visualizer, if that's a word. I, I got the, my gift is communication and relationships and visualizing and seeing around the corner, not seeing this directly in front of me, but seeing way around the corner. And I'm going to do a better job with that. 
Um, I have no problem with motivating and inspiring and encouraging and, and getting us prepared to to go out there and do our thing. But when we do our thing, we got to make sure we're dotting I's and cross T's. And we're so direct when it comes to discipline. But then when you see undisciplined on the field, I would take that responsibility. But everything we do starts with discipline in the way we work and the way we dress and the way we on time, the way we go about a practice. So I got to do a better job of holding us accountable in meetings and everything when it comes to discipline, because that results into penalties and and and, and missed opportunities. And we had a, a tremendous amount of missed opportunities. That's why I said we don't know how to win, because we get in that situation where we could either win it or we could give up a first down or we could give up an explosion or we don't get the first down and we run the wrong route or something crazy. Or we miss the ball or we hold the ball too long. It's, it's something happens. So we got to learn how to manage and be disciplined in all those situations. I learned patience too, my man. See, a lot of this happened. I'm sorry, RJ. A lot of this no. happened at Jackson in the spring. So we've been through a lot of this and seen a lot of this. So it's not nothing new to us. We, I think we were three and three or four and three because they gave us a game in the third nearly something like that. So I, I've been to that point where you 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 you, you crit, critiqued and judged and and saying now they count you out and I'm like, oh, okay. and that's what you're on right now, right? Because I, I know the cake is cooking. I see, you know, I got one of those ovens where it's a glass. I see this thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, back in the day in the hood, you had to open the thing up and pick it down. Yeah. What those ovens, is see. it brown? Is it brown? <laughs> and you hey, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't trip. Um, because I've been critiqued and criticized all my life, my man. I, I so I, that stuff don't bother me. I just don't want it to get to the coaches or or any, everybody else in the house. What they've learned is, man, we everything is a spectacle. Like everything is magnified. <laughs> everything is is critical. Like every play counts. Uh, the team learned tremendously. Like, hey, man, every single snap counts, and you got to. Yeah. Be- because these games are so tight that you got to be on your game every play, coaches included. Well, I, look, coach, I, I wonder about this. Uh, and again, speaking directly to your experience, because of the level of your work ethic and because of the level of your talent, I've always wondered, is it more difficult for you to coach a less talented player because there are certain things that you just can't teach that person or they don't have it or don't want it. So I look no. at Shadora, I look at Travis, they got it, right? Yeah. There's there's not a whole lot that you got to do except point them in the right direction. Kind of like what needed to be done with you, if I'm being uh, candid. You just need to be told that you could go do what you need to do. You don't have 85 of those guys. So I wonder, right. is it difficult for you to communicate just how things should be done? Because one of the things Bill Russell would try to coach and they would say, hey, do it like me. And be like, I, can't nobody do it like you. You Bill Russell. So you have to teach it differently. I wonder, is there a specific instance in which that might have occurred for you? No, because I don't have the expectation of myself through my kids. Mm. Uh, personal as well as the team. Um, it would seem like Travis got it. But no, I have to stay on him about little things. Like little things that that he needs to consistency in. Shador, it would seem like he had it all. But when he comes to the sideline, I could just say one little thing and I know what button to push. Uh, Jimmy the same way. Uh, Shallow is the same way. Cam is the same way. That's the relationship part that God has gifted me in that I know these kids and I know them. Whereas I know what to say. I know how to push the button. I know how to hit them, but I don't expect me out of them whatsoever. I don't expect the decisions that the coaches would make to be my decision. I don't expect that. Um, They're uniquely uh, constructed. They're uniquely thought provoking. And I love them for who they are. That's why they're hired. So, no, I do not expect that. But what I do expect is your best. Mm. I expect your best. I don't expect me, but I know what you're capable of doing. So I expect that. So I got to find out who you are, what you are, how you are, so I could get that out of you all week long. So on Saturday, guess what it is? It's routine. Mm. It's routine and it's consistent because that's where you are. That's how you practice. That's how you work. Now it has become a habit. 
it has become a habit. And I tell the kids all the time, if you want to know what we want, look at your coach and duplicate that. Hmm. that that's all you have to do. So you got to be unique in building a staff that, okay, so give me the, 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 the mental makeup of, of Coach Sal. Man, Sal is tough, man. He's rough. He's, he's rugged. He don't play. He has a high motor. He's always, that's what I want. <laughs> That's what I okay. Give me the mental makeup of Coach Matthews, man. He's smart. He's studious. Uh, shoot, he's on point. He he's detailed with the little things, and he's studied and prepared. Well, don't you think I want our cornerbacks to be that like that? You, you, all you have to do is look at the mannerisms and the makeup of the coaching staff, and that's what you want. Now, when you're not getting that, I got to check the coach. Okay, that, that's simple. You you got to check the coach, you got to check the staff, and I got to check me for it allowing it. That's on me. It all goes back to me. Yeah. Now, Coach, I do want to just tell you, man, thank you for allowing me to even be a part of the Zoom, allow me to uh, get access like y'all allowed me to do. Man, that was a blessing on top of blessing. I, and, and nearly two people even hitting me up from the, from the jump. So I thank y'all for that. Man, this, this is... The thing about these type of relationships, they're built on trust. Mm -hmm. And like when we have an opening, I get calls from everybody and their mama. Um, yeah. I got a coach for you. Oh, I want to coach with you. Oh, I could do this and I could do that. And I'm like, guys, this stuff is built on relationships. I don't bring anybody in house unless it stems from a relationship. Because when it gets hot, we got to trust one another. Because yeah. it's going to be hot. And this yeah. season, guys. So when you're yeah. looking around, you want to make sure everybody in there is down with you. They for you. They for these kids. They they for the calls. And then we're on one mind, one body, one soul. And the reason yeah. you guys are on this call, because I trust you. Right. I trust you what you're going to do with information. And I'm right. willing to give it to you because I trust you. And right. I trust enough that you're going to hold me accountable as well. Shoot, if yeah. I mess up, say it. I'm going to say it. Because yeah. I'm going to first say it. I'm good with it. I'm not beyond yeah. I'm not be up above that. I'm still learning the processes as well. And I'm learning my team and I'm learning the, the, the situational football. Um, and I'm I'm just learning as well. Is this is not too big for us by any means, trust me. Football is right. football at what level? And I wish to God um they would know that, especially deriving from HBCUs, man. Those are wonderful coaches that we coached against. And I'm right. telling you, I know, man, some of those kids can play right. and be dominant. In power five football, I'm telling you what I know. And mm -hmm. coach, well, scheming wise, schematically, watch what Coach Dancy does this season. Mm. Oh, by the way, he he's your outside linebacker coach. Let's run with that, okay? Yes. Look, I had, listen. I had already told everybody. I say, look, I done seen them boys out there. He was a former head coach, a guy that's one of the smartest guys on the staff that just needed opportunity. And guess what happens? He got opportunity. You talk, man, when I tell you Vincent Dancy is, shoot, like he that. will be a coordinator one day somewhere, then consequently a head coach. He is like that and then some. So I'm thankful. You know, I love Nick. Now, you got to understand I love Nick. This is not an insult to Nick. But Vincent Dancy, shoot, ask anybody. Oh. Ask, coach, ask Coach Kelly, anybody in that staff and room, what he brings to the table every yeah. day. Yeah. yeah, one of the most intelligent coaches and can recruit and just shoot when he talks to the team. When I put him up in front of the team, you could tell he was a head coach. Yeah, coach yeah, yeah. And demands attention, and he ain't stuttering or stumbling. He got it. And a nice fade. Let me, uh, let me ask you this: you know, you you used a lot of words about uh, expectations, trust, learning what you learned this season. As you look at working this portal this time around, what are you looking for different? I don't mean like offensive line, defense line, you know, trenches, whatever. I'm yeah. talking about his makeup as the player. Starters. starters, 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 starters. Not the backup, the backup, who backed up the backup, starters. <laughs> now, starters ain't on sale. Let's just get that straight. <laughs> <laughs> Not a hey, hey, I got a lot of 
school from uh, Nebraska when he came out and said, yeah, a good quarterback costs a million and a half. I was like, show you right. <laughs> show you right. Wait. And I saw from Shador saying, now you know if I was on the market right now, Dad. I, I didn't have anything like <laughs> Coach, with you knowing how you set up Jackson State to come in and dominate when y'all got back and then y'all roll call from there, do you see it the same way? Because I because I tell everybody when I'm on the call, I say, bro, 23 Coach Prime trained guys, he trained them for free and say, y'all going to go start somewhere else. So I named all the other guys that were starting at other places that you trained with Coach Mo. And I say, now Coach Mo get to go in knowing he got, he going to put eight months of work in on these guys that will be there. So do you go into it knowing like, oh, boy, all right, we got this one here, we got that one here. We need them here in January, and bam, it's game on. You know, we, I'm not going to say game over. Um, you're right with the strategy and what we plan on doing and getting everybody in the house and understanding our way, understanding the way we do things, the way we talk, the way we walk, the way we practice, the way we work, the way we run. I mean, the way we think, the way we study and prepare. You, when you get everybody in-house, you got to understand, it's, it's, it was just a year, a few days ago, that 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 we came to Boulder. So everything, right. hurry, 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 rush, rush, rush. And you, you, it's no way you could really assemble the team you desire. You try to right. get everything you can in-house, then you figure it out. But now you know, you you know exactly right. what you, every everybody who watched us play, and this is going to be my last statement, I got to get in this car. Everybody who watched us play this season came with, out with the conclusion, we we lost, we got our butts kicked twice. But the other That's 10 games, it. they said, man, boy, if they had that, ooh, yes. Lord. Yes. Boy, if they just had a little more of that. Yeah. You said that, don't you think we know that? Like, like. Correct. <laughs> Correct. So that what you were thinking? We're getting it. Like, like we we we're going to get that. We have some key pieces and key places that are that are exceptional, and we're gonna ride with that because skill wise, now skill wise, we was on par with everybody. Right. It's the, it's, it's the right. big skill wise. Right. Uh, yeah, we we got some skill talent in there. And we're gonna add some more skill to that. So. So we could be explosive uh, on both sides of the ball, not just on one side of the ball, one side of, side of the ball. But, man, I'm, I'm so darn excited. Man, I'm not upset. I would have loved to have won more true. You know that. That was our expectation. Yeah. But everything we did, we took it to another level. Right. Dang. Every, not, not, one, not one thing that we missed on that we didn't take to another level. Everything we right. touched. Everything we did, we took to another level. And guess what? We gave you hope that you said, oh, God, boy, they just had, oh, oh, they just had that. Or Shador had a little more time. Oh, yeah. man, we had one. Another Travis on the other side, which is hard to find anywhere. But Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So we, we're going we're gonna to go out there and get it, man. And I hold tight. I tell you what, just hold tight. Because you're going to see it start within this week, all right? You're going, to, you're going to see it start this week, all right? I'm telling it's you, right. I didn't stutter, nor did I stumble. You're going to see it start this week. God bless you. Game on, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, right. folks. No doubt.